Hey, this is gonna be a quick tip tutorial in which I will show you how to create this Nimbus Cloud from the Dragon Ball series. If you are like me a fan of this anime, then consider subscribing. Maybe you'll find another content that you like on this channel in the future. And without further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, let's create a mesh cube and add a subdivision surface modifier. Increase the levels to something around 3 and right click shade smooth. Now go into the edit mode and start shaping our cloud. First of all, let's scale down the back of the cloud, make it a little bit longer and scale everything on the Z cloud and then scale up the front a little bit until you have a shape resembling this. Then let's get out of the edit mode and apply this modifier. Now let's add another subdivision surface modifier and also a displace modifier. We can set the subdivision to something like 3 again and in the displace modifier click new to create a new displace texture. Then go into the texture tab, change the type to Voronoi, go into the colors, enable color ramp and switch the values. Now decrease contrast to something like 0.5 and change the distance metric from actual distance to distance squared. Now let's add an empty object that is gonna control our displacement. Go into the displacement modifier and change the coordinates from local to object and the object let's choose the empty that we just created. Now scale the empty until you have something resembling this and with the cloud selected let's go into the shading tab. Here let's click new to create new material, delete the principled BSDF and add an emission node. We can plug it directly to the material output surface and we will also need Fresnel as well as a color ramp node. Connect it like so and change the color ramp interpolation from linear to constant. Now change the black value in the color ramp into the brightest color of our cloud. Then let's bring in the second color stop and give it more orangey look. Click plus to add another color stop and move it to the back and also change its color to be the darkest because this will work as our outline. Adjust the position of the color stops until you feel satisfied with the result. You can also tweak the Fresnel node and when you're happy with what you've got go back into the layout and change the viewport into rendered preview. Now select an empty and on the first frame of the animation click I to add a keyframe location. Move to the last frame of the animation then move the empty along the Y axis and click I to add another keyframe, also location. Then hover over the timeline, click T and change the interpolation to linear. Now as you click play you can see that the cloud is being animated. The last thing to add is the tail and for that simply select the cloud, go into the edit mode and select a few faces on the back and click E to extrude them. Now as you can see the tail is being affected by the displays noise as well and if this is the effect that you're going for then feel free to leave it out but if you want it to stay straight again select the cloud, go into the edit mode, select all the vertices and then deselect the last vertices on the tail and click Ctrl minus to shrink the selection by those vertices on the back of the cloud. Now go into the object data properties, add a vertex group and click assign to assign the selected vertices. Then go into the displace modifier and choose the vertex group that we just created. This way the cloud is being affected by the noise but the tail is not. And that is it, quick and easy way to create a Nimbus cloud from Dragon Ball. If you manage to follow along and create something out of it then tag me on Twitter, link for that in the description. I would really love to see what you come up with and that would be it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed and see you in the next one.